What is going on guys? It's your boy Justin bringing you yet another sneaker video. Now I know I've been taking uh, some time off and it was needed. I just needed a little bit of a mental break, but I am back. So make sure you guys show some love by hitting that thumbs up button because today we're going to be talking about the Yeezy 350 V2s in the Lund Mark colorway. Now I don't know where the hell they got that name from. Again, Kanye always has some weird names, but these are the Lundmarks. These were exclusive uh, United States release and they dropped uh, July 13th at a whopping $220. Uh, now with this particular sneaker here, there is no resale value. So if you guys are thinking about copying these, just cop them for a personal. I do not see them going up in price. Uh, just because of the, the, the simple color tones to it, and we'll definitely dive into that. Uh, and if you're new here, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button before we even dive into these because I promise you we got daily sneaker content coming. Uh, we're going to drop sometime later this week as well. Uh, must have sneakers. You must buy this uh, either for this month or next month because I know there are some bangers coming out. But regardless, let's go ahead and dive right into the shoe itself. Now, as you can see, these are the 350 V2 Lundmarks that just dropped July 13th and I got them in yesterday and I got to say in hand, um, bringing it... As far as my opinion, it's it's definitely a summertime sneaker shoe. Uh, comparing it to the Clays, I feel like the Clays are the winners as far as like the best summertime shoe, but I'm definitely getting summertime vibes from this. Uh, as you guys can see with the upper portion of the sneaker, it's going to feature a blend of like a lighter gray with a little bit of a cream color in it. Um, and I gotta say that does definitely blend well. And that's why I kind of mentioned that it is a summertime sneaker just because of these color tones uh, are definitely gonna be looking good uh, with any type of outfit. And then also with the midsole here, I know it might be a little hard to see you guys, but it does have a little slight tint of yellow in this one, which I think is a nice little hit. Uh, and then bringing it to the bottom, obviously with that gum bottom with the translucent exposed boost. Uh, and I think that always is a nice touch. But the main feature on this sneaker here, um, which I don't think makes any sense, but I need to know what you guys think, is if you bring it to the back of the sneaker, as you guys can see, there is no pull tab, a heel tab anymore. Um, I don't know what they were thinking when they released it, but I just don't think it makes any sense. I feel like any pair, anyone who owns a pair of 350 V2s in particular, use that heel tab to put the shoe on a lot easier. And when I was doing B-roll for this particular sneaker, I found it a little more difficult and I felt like I was pulling here more and I feel like the more that I use that in or uh, pull in through this part of the sneaker, I feel like it's gonna do a lot more wear and tear. So do not do this, Kanye. Bring back the heel tab. I feel like it was a great touch. Uh, to the sneaker, but without it, it just doesn't feel right. Um, and as you guys can see in the back, they added a little bit of a pattern there, uh, a little more of a cream uh, feel to it. But again, it just doesn't, I mean, it look, I guess it looks okay, but I need the heel tab. I need it. It doesn't make any sense. Um, but moving forward into the shoe here, as you guys can see with any of the V2s, you are going to get that translucent stripe there, uh, which obviously is going to be exposed. So make sure you guys are wearing some socks with this because that definitely uh, is the main feature. Uh, and then bringing it towards the front of the shoe again, uh, that blender, that blended uh, mix of gray and cream tones with a nice stitching that runs all the way through it. And then you're going to get a hit of that darker gray on the shoelaces here. Uh, which is a nice touch. But other than that, resale value is not too good on these boys. So if you're gonna be grabbing them, make sure you're grabbing them just for a personal because there's no point. It's not even lunch money at this point. I think it's like 276. So if you were to sell that on StockX plus all the fees, you wouldn't be making any money. So these are definitely gonna be a personal for me. I'm a, I am a big fan of them. Again, without the heel tab, it just doesn't make any sense. But for the most part, as far as the blended colors and how, and just the whole vibe of it, I definitely think it's a nice, nice sneaker. But I need to know what you guys think. Make sure you drop it in the comments below. Uh, we definitely got some B-roll for you guys too, so make sure you enjoy that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about these sneakers. Um, and then let's let's start a trend by putting hashtag bring the heel tab back in the comments as well. I think that'd be pretty hilarious as, as far as if you agree with that. But thank you guys so many, uh, much for taking a couple minutes out of your day to watch me talk about some sneakers and expect some more from me in the future. But I will see you guys then.